Good afternoon. Hello, I'm Richard Wilmot, Finance Director at Fragesco Limited, and we specialize in defrost technology. Now, that may not sound very sexy to you, but hopefully you will soon see why we at Fragesco are very excited by it. Now, next time you go into a supermarket, have a look at the freezer cabinets. You'll see on top of some of the cabinets the letters DEF, and that means that the freezer is in defrost, which it does three or four times a day for about 45 minutes. The defrost process is very crude and inefficient. It uses electric heaters to melt the ice which accumulates on the freezing coils, freezing cooling coils from the moisture in the air. And we estimate that the annual cost of running supermarket defrost worldwide is around 1.6 billion pounds. Well, the good news is that Progesco has patented a technology to save 100% of that 1.6 billion as it does away with the need to use electricity or indeed any external energy source for the defrost process. And the payback on investment in fresh Progesco equipment will be between two and three years. But the technology is not limited to display cabinets and supermarkets. It includes all refrigerated equipment that needs a defrost. And we're now looking for international partners to help us commercialize the application across all sectors globally. So how do we do it? Well, the answer is with elegant simplicity using standard components, pipework, and valves with an added ingredient of Fragesco patented know-how. And it's best explained by the Autodesk anim animation. This shows refrigerant in hot liquid form under pressure, the red spheres, moving through a thermal store containing a special wax, a phase change material. The heat store extracts heat, and then cooler refrigerant, the yellow spheres, pass through an evaporator and into a low pressure area, causing it to revert to a gas, and in the process, drawing heat from its surroundings. When heat is needed for the defrost, the thermal store is connected directly to the, to the frosted up air coil by closing two valves and opening a third. And a closed loop is created, and heat is rapidly transferred from the store to the coil by natural circulation of refrigerant trapped in the loop. The ice melts in less than 15 minutes, compared with around 45 minutes previously. And what's more, the Fragesco system, using no additional energy, can be used much more frequently, thereby preventing ice buildup, hence improving efficiency. Once defrosted, the valves are reopened, and the cycle starts over again, with the coil cooling down and the heat store heating up. Well, the first prototype was independently tested for us using a cabinet supplied by Marks and & Spencers. And the results of that test were remarkable. They showed that when using the Fragesco system, the cabinet needed 40% less energy to run than it did previously. It showed that there was a reduction in defrost time of 65%, and that 80% less heat was required to defrost the ice, indicating the significant amount of heat inefficiently used in the, in the, electric, in the electric defrost process. In practice, in non-test conditions, we expect savings to UK supermarkets to be in the region of 25% of running costs, i.e. in the UK, a saving of between 100 million and 150 million a year. We're now further developing, with the assistance of a grant from DEX Energy Entrepreneurs Fund, the original work into a display cabinet module. But the first product to market is a module for cold rooms, and we have targeted supermarkets as our first market sector. The first products will be retrofitted in test sites in Morrisons and Waitrose next month, and we expect significant take-up and rollout in UK supermarkets in 2015 and beyond, both in retrofit and new build. Well, the team involved with this is led by Professor Tom Davis of Exeter University, and he is the joint inventor with our technical director, Robin Campbell, of the Vigesco system and co-author of the recently granted patent of the system. And between them, they've got 60 years' experience in this area. Managing director David Walter, and they're all here today, is a specialist entrepreneur in the food industry with many years' experience in that industry. Our non-executive director, Bob Arthur, previously headed up refrigeration at Marks & Spencer's and was formerly president of the main train body the British Refrigeration Association, and is a very respected individual in that body. I'm a chartered accountant with a broad-based experience in industry and the public sector, spanning over 40 years. And last year, the team were runners-up in the major industry annual awards, the Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Awards for Best Innovation of the Year, of which we're very proud. Well, the company's come a long way in the last two years. We've raised 1.1 million of funding for 20% of the business, being a mixture of equity, loans, and grants including a successful bid for the debt grant I've referred to earlier. And we currently plan to be self-funding from here on, initially from sales of the cold room product and licensing revenues. We've filed and been granted a patent, and we've filed patents internationally. 
We've developed and tested the first retail display cabinet prototype and produced a module for cold rooms. And it's hard to overestimate the potential. However, we cannot do everything everywhere all at once, and we have clear plans for the UK supermarket sector. We're now looking for partners to assist us in taking the technology into different vertical markets and territories. So we look forward to speaking to you later on. Thank you. <laughs>